games were canceled last week due to the Monarchs' death. Well, Nick Mantis joins us now with a look at sports. And Nick, the Michigan Wolverines were able to run the ball really well today. Yes, yeah, Shamir. How about all six of their touchdowns coming from the ground and five of their touchdowns came from one player. We're going to show you who that player was. Plus, the Michigan State volleyball team was able to defend their Breslin Center house this morning. We're going to hear from the Spartans when we come back. Six News, sponsored by Firekeepers Casino Hotel. Win a fully loaded Jeep Grand Cherokee L on Saturday, August 27th. Visit firekeepersgasino.com for details. Hey you. Hi, I'm Alyssa Slotkin, and I'm your representative in the U.S. Congress. But Slotkin didn't represent us. Instead, she voted Biden's party line 100%. Slotkin stuck with her party, wasting hundreds of millions on pet projects for the elite. And Slotkin raised taxes, costing working families billions. But Slotkin voted with the liberals to cut taxes for wealthy donors in California and New York. Michigan families can't afford Alyssa Slotkin. The NRCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Russell and Schrader Insurance in Charlotte, your local independent auto owner's agent. We've been through a lot the last few years, but we never took our eyes off what's next. We made the largest investments in schools ever without raising taxes and getting kids back in class and helping them catch up. We opened community college and apprenticeship programs for 170,000 Michiganders, tuition free. And we're helping businesses grow here so those students can get great jobs. Yes, we've got more to do, but there's no quit in Michiganders. There's never been a better time to upgrade your heating and cooling system. Back for a limited time, purchase a qualifying high-efficiency Lennox furnace and get an air conditioner free. Take advantage of over $3,000 in cash back, as well as 0% financing available, or with payments as low as $66 a month. Only Hager Fox can do that. Dare to compare. Put us up against anyone, because only Hager Fox gives you the highest value for the lowest price guaranteed. For service that rocks, call Hager Fox today. I'm Melissa Slotkin, and I approve this message. My great-grandpa, grandpa, two uncles, and my mother were UAW auto workers. Fifteen years ago, I got my chance. It's hard work, but it's good work, and it helps people like me stay in Michigan to support our families. 5,000 jobs supported by the new GM deal are on the way, but Tom Barrett voted five times to block it. He voted against 5,000 jobs, jobs for people like me. Need help paying your bills? Visit lbwl.com. Capital One Down, Sundays at 5.30 a.m. on WLNS. This is the Six Sports Desk. There are moments during a college football game where you start to look at the clock and realize that things could get ugly in a hurry. For the Michigan Wolverines, they came into today's game with a clear game plan, having their quarterback situation all figured out. But the University of Connecticut defense was most likely too worried about J.J. McCarthy because they completely forgot about Michigan's running game and what it looks like. And that was an ugly mistake. Let's get you down to Ann Arbor. This one was seen on WLAJ. Jim Harbaugh looking to use all of his weapons this afternoon. How about handing it off to Blake Corum? Getting to the outside, sneaking around a block and down the sideline for a 20-yard touchdown and put the oven on preheat because he's just warming up. A few minutes later, for this one yard out, Corum just goes ahead and dives over the pile to put the Wolverines up two touchdowns. Then in the second quarter, he did the same thing, but to the other end zone. This way, this time, just pushing his way in from one yard out as Corum went on to score five touchdowns in this game, four of them in the first half, which ties the school's single game record. But it wasn't all Corum this afternoon. The special teams played a huge role. A UConn punt from almost their own end zone. AJ Henning gets underneath it, puts on the moves, finding some space as he crosses the logo and into the red zone, then cutting back in for a 61-yard punt return. And the big house is going wild as the Wolverines rolled in this one 59 to nothing. The first time Michigan football Football history: The Wolverines have scored 50 plus points or more in their first three games. So, Coach Harbaugh, do you like this team so far this season? Yeah, I like I like the team a lot. Um, good friend of mine, Jay Norlinger, who I uh, grew, grew up with, we was always on the same baseball teams and, and things like that. We've always remained friends. He's got a great way, way with words. Always has. Uh, writer for the National Review, editor, senior editor, etc. Uh, sent me a great text this week. 
and it really resonated with me. He said, um, he just can't wait to watch Michigan football. And it, uh, it reminds him of the days of Rick Leach and Harlan Huckabee and Anthony Carter. And uh, that's the way he feels about this team. And uh, I do as well. I got that same feeling about this team. Well, another team that feels pretty good so far this season are the Michigan State Spartans. But the biggest worry coming into their game against the University of Washington tonight is whether or not star wide receiver and return specialist Jaden Reed is going to play after suffering a cut on his lower back against Akron last week. Sources close to the team have confirmed that Jaden Reed did not make the trip to Washington. So that's one huge weapon that won't be available tonight. Things just got underway in Seattle and the Spartans are looking for a huge win over a power five team similar to the way they beat the University of Miami last year. The Huskies just got their first score seven to nothing in the first quarter. We of course will make sure to keep you updated as this game continues on and of course we'll have full highlights of the game tonight on six news at 11 so don't miss it. Well, sticking with the Spartans, the MSU volleyball team got up nice and early this morning. The Green and White Classic continued at the Breslin Center after taking down Oakland last night in three sets. The Spartans went to work against Chicago State at 10 a.m. Leah Johnson and company came into today undefeated at home this season, and MSU made sure it stayed that way. Meredith O'Gorman puts the bow on a 25 to 19 first set win with one of her three kills. It may have been a season low in kills for O'Gorman, but that's because Aaliyah Moore was flying all over the place. The Illinois State transfer had a match high 17 kills and helped MSU take a two set lead. The Cougars didn't back down though. Baris Almeida collects the kill and Chicago State forces a fourth set with a 25 to 22 win in set three. MSU fell behind in the fourth set, but thanks to kills like this from Neil O'Kerr, a freshman from Turkey. As the Spartans would get back and get the win in fourth set, O'Kerr had a season high 13 kills, and her teammates could tell she's feeling more comfortable since arriving from overseas. She's transitioned on and off the court, like completely come out of her shell. I love her so much. She's she's just amazing and she really sticks to it. She's like, it's not that different, but it is because I have to hear everything different. I have to speak everything different. I have to, there's a lot more detail in what we do. And um, But man, isn't her arm wicked fast? Like you, you just can't catch up to it. And so she just finds a way to keep herself on the court as she's catching up. We'll have much more on the Spartans tonight at 11 and we'll be right back with the final of your forecast. Stay up to date with Michigan State Athletics with the Spartans on 6 Newsletter. Go to WLNS.com slash newsletter and sign up today. Inflation is crushing our family. Feeding my family an extra 70 bucks a week. Want to buy a new home? Good luck. It costs too much for me and my family. I can't believe Alyssa Slotkin voted for Joe Biden's trillions in government spending. Leaders in Washington just don't get it. Slacken votes with Biden 100% of the time. I'm voting for Tom Barrett. I'm voting for Tom Barrett. I'm voting for Tom Barrett to lower prices. I'm Tom Barrett, and I approve this message. Lane's Farm and Fleet is celebrating 67 years. Since 1955, we've offered our neighbors quality products at fair and honest prices. Today, our commitment is stronger than ever, so we're offering incredible anniversary savings throughout the store. Like 50 pound bags of diamond crystal solar salt, two for 10 bucks. Blaine's conventional motor oil, just $2.79 a quart. And get a free $15 gift card when you buy select bags of Hill Science Diet Dog or Cat Food. Tom Barrett has no problem selling out Michigan families. 90% of Barrett's donors were from special interests, including corporate PACs. Barrett supports the agenda of his dark money supporters, the Koch brothers, which would outsource Michigan manufacturing jobs. And Barrett sponsored a bill to send taxpayer money to private schools. Another key goal of his donors, the DeVos family. Don't let Tom Barrett sell out Michigan. House Majority Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. Right now, you can find a fresh frame of mind at Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month. It's why you don't just see a treadmill. You see a fast lane to more confidence. And while you see tons of equipment in the judgment-free zone, you'll also see endless ways to get glowing and feel fit-tacular. It's this place, I tell you. Join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month. Join now in club or online for just $1 down and $10 a month. Hurry, deal ends Monday, September 19th. 
T-Mobile 5G home internet is here in your town. Get fast and reliable Wi-Fi on America's largest 5G network. People that aren't on T-Mobile don't believe how fast it is. With no annual contracts, no equipment fees, and just a 15-minute setup. Setting it up was quick and easy. Within minutes, we were up and running. Great internet for only 50 bucks a month. It's that simple. Plus, with T-Mobile Price Lock, we guarantee we won't raise the price of your rate plan. Visit your local T-Mobile store or T-Mobile.com slash Wi-Fi to check availability. Coming up tonight on TV6, primetime begins in just a few minutes with FBI Most Wanted at 8, followed by 48 Hours at 9, then at 10, it's 48 Hours again. And of course, stay tuned after that for 6 News at 11. Tonight's going to be pretty nice with partly cloudy skies, a chance for a few isolated showers in the area, but our overnight lows will be dropping down to 66 degrees. I do think most of the showers are going to hold off until the early morning hours of the day on Sunday, right around 6 o'clock in the morning, when we're going to see those scattered showers and thunderstorms move in. Still going to be dry throughout the day part on Sunday. Highs will still remain in the low 80s until Wednesday, and then we see a cold front push through. It'll dry us out, but it looks like we have some more seasonable fall-like temperatures to finish off the week. I'll put it that way. All right. Well, sounds good. Well, we had uh, a birthday yes. yesterday. Yes. Got another birthday tomorrow. Yes. Oh. A lot of celebrations. Nice birthday here. weekend. Yes. There you go. For yeah. the Virgos. There we go. go out. Happy belated birthday. Thank Happy you. almost birthday. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll see you back here for 6 News <laughs> at 11. <laughs>